हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर संध्या राय फ्रॉम देशबंधु कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन द मॉड्यूल एपीजेनेटिक्स फ्रॉम द पेपर मोलिकुलर जेनेटिक्स देर विल बी सर्टेन लर्निंग आउटकम्स आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर यू विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन एपीजेनेटिक्स विद द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द बेसिक्स ऑफ द एपीजेनेटिक कॉन्सेप्ट you will be able to explain the various types of mechanisms involved in the epigenetic changes you will be able to describe several types of mechanisms which are involved in the epigenetic inheritance you will be able to understand the epigenetic approach for a better life with the knowledge about the applications of epigenetics and epigenetic approach now we'll start with this basic question do genes have a memory do you all know that the lives of our grand grandparents the food they ate the things they saw the air they breathed can directly affect us decades later despite our never experiencing these things ourselves this indicates the concept of epigenetics now what is epigenetics the term epigenetics was coined by Conrad Weddington in order to describe the interactions of genes with their environment which bring the phenotype into being that means depending upon the cell type developmental stage age sex and various other parameters all nucleated cells contain the same genome but very different epigenomes it is the non sequence dependent inheritance that indicates the reasons of so many unanswered phenomena around us like what is the reason behind genetic imprinting how can paternal or maternal trait be expressed unequally in offspring how can only one x chromosome be expressed per cell in females how does the fate of adult stem cells is decided how can identical twins have different natural hair colors how is the acquired trait inherited by the offspring therefore some changes in the gene expression are heritable so epigenetics is a study of the effects of chromatin structure including the higher order of chromatin folding and attachment to the nuclear matrix the packaging of dna around nucleosomes various covalent modifications of the histone tails like acetylation methylation phosphorylation ubiquitination and lastly dna methylation heritable variations in gene expression such as gene silencing due to paramutation in plants x inactivation in mammals and genomic imprinting have highlighted the complexity of gene regulation so that nowadays epigenetics is simply defined as heritable changes in gene expression not attributable to the nucleotide sequence variation in a cell it is known that inactivated genes outnumber the actively transcribed genes thus repression of unnecessary genes may be a basic rule of transcriptional control there will be no doubt that transcription is the most important and substantial process of epigenetic regulation in a multicellular organism the differentiated cells express only the genes that are necessary for their own activity this is because the epigenetic changes can modify the activation of certain genes without interfering with the sequence of the dna several types of mechanisms are involved in the epigenetic changes as well as their inheritance these mechanisms are DNA methylation and chromatin remodeling systems in the DNA methylation there are CPG islands DNA methyl transferases demethylases as well as methyl CPG binding proteins which are responsible for the epigenetic regulation the chromatin conversion system constitutes histone modifying enzymes as well as chromatin remodeling and various assembly factors rna transcripts and their encoded proteins as well as the micro rnas are also responsible for the epigenetic regulation dna methylation has an apparent accuracy of around 96% 
which means that there is a probability of at least one error for every 25 methylated sites copied. Because of this error rate, cloning from a single cell quickly results in a population of cells in which DNA methylation patterns are diverse. The cytosine can be covalently methylated at CPG, cytosine, phosphate, guanine, dinucleotides, which leads to the attenuation of nearby genes. Now, we'll study various systems of DNA methylation, among which first we'll consider the CPG islands. The most striking feature of vertebrate DNA methylation patterns is the presence of PPG, that is cytosine, phosphate, guanosine islands, that is unmethylated regions that possess high relative densities of CPG. In vertebrate genomes, 5 position carbon of cytosine in CPG dinucleotide is usually modified by a methyl group. Cytosine residue in the complementary, that is from 3' prime to 5' prime, GPC that makes the base pairs is also methylated symmetrically. And these two methyl groups show a three-dimensional structure prominent in the major groove of the double-stranded DNA. Normally, approximately 60 to 90 percent of all CPG sequences in the genome are methylated, while unmethylated CPG dinucleotides are mainly clustered in the CPG-rich sequence termed as CPG island of the gene promoter region. Normally, both core promoter and transcription start site are included within the CPG islands. Gene expression is completely repressed when this region becomes hypermethylated. Approximately 60% of human genes have CPG island promoters. Mammalian DNA methyl transferases are classified into two groups. First is the maintenance DNA methyl transferase or maintenance methylase, abbreviated as DNMT1 is highly active in methylating hemimethylated DNA. Hemimethylated means methylated in one strand. Thus, provides the methylation pattern to the newly replicated daughter strand based on the parent strand. Second DNA methyl transferase group is the de novo methylase, abbreviated as DNMT3A and DNMT3B, which is a recently identified one and it adds a methyl group to the unmethylated CPG base pairs, resulting in the creation of a new hemimethylated and then fully methylated CPG. Demethylation activity which is the removal of a methyl group from methylated DNA still remains uncertain with the possibility of two probable processes responsible for it. One is a passive mechanism whereby methylation is not maintained during the DNA replication and the other is an active mechanism catalyzed by as an yet unidentified DNA demethylase. In addition to methylated DNA, Methyl CPG binding proteins are also required to inhibit transcription by methylation insensitive transcriptional factors. Methyl CPG binding proteins are responsible for deciphering epigenetic methylation patterns by mediating interactions between DNA methylation, histone deacetylation, and chromatin components. Currently, five family members with a conserved methylated DNA binding domain, MBD, have been described. They are MECP2, MBD1, MBD2, MBD3 and MBD4. Now we'll discuss various chromatin conversion system. Chromatin remodeling represents a change of nucleosome position and conformation leading to chromatin assembly and disassembly. The acetylation of histone H3 and H4 normally increases gene expression by promoting an open chromatin structure. Intrinsic HAT, that is histone acetyl transferase, are transcriptional coactivators, while HDAC, that is histone deacetylases, contribute to form transcriptional co-repressor complexes. SWI, SNF, as well as ISWI families are ATP-dependent chromatin remodeling complexes. So, when we talk about the histone modification or the chromatin remodeling, then there are two cases. In one, the chromatin is loosely packed, called as euchromatin, that is the chromatin is active and the gene is switched on. As there are unmethylated cytosines represented by the white circles and the histones are acetylated and there are active transcription factors or coactivators working. And in the second case, the chromatin can be highly packed 
as in the case of heterochromatin where the gene is switched off as there are methylated cytosines represented by the red circles in the second figure of the slide and there are deacetylated histones histone code the concept was proposed by Alice et al histone modifying enzymes generate the histone code which specifies that various n terminal modifications on histones that is acetylation methylation phosphorylation ubiquitination and adp ribosylation have an influence on gene expression dna replication and chromatin dependent processes chromatin is a multi molecular complex of several folds of dna and proteins with nucleosome as the functional unit the histone code as already mentioned proposes that various histones modifications do have an influence on the gene expression dna methylation and histone deacetylation are cooperatively involved in transcriptional repression histone modifying enzymes are distinct classes of enzyme that can modify histone at multiple sites there are at least eight distinct types of enzymatic modifications found on histones like acetylation deacetylation methylation demethylation phosphorylation ubiquitination and simulation now if we talk about the rna transcripts and their encoded proteins as uh, one of the mechanism of epigenetic regulation then we'll say that a gene after being turned on can directly or indirectly maintain its own activity through its rna transcripts and their encoded proteins or we can say the translated proteins moreover descendants of the cell in which the gene was turned on will inherit this activity even if the original stimulus for gene activation is no longer existing rna signaling includes differential recruitment of a hierarchy of chromatin modifying complexes and dna methyl transferases to specific loci by the rna during differentiation and development when we talk about micro rnas or mi rnas they are the members of the non coding rnas that range in size from 17 to 25 nucleotides it appears that about 60% of human protein coding genes are regulated by mrnas which themselves are epigenetically regulated about 50% of the mi rna genes are associated with cpg islands each mi rna expressed in a cell may target about 100 to 200 mrnas that it down regulates either at the transitional level or by causing decay of the targeted mrna itself the epigenetics and the epigenetic approach have various application in different fields of science like development evolution health and the environment now when we discuss the application of epigenetics and the epigenetic approach on development then we'll say that somatic epigenetic inheritance is substantially regulated by the epigenetic modifications therefore each cell type has its own epigenetic signatures or marks which become fixed once the cell differentiates these epigenetic marks reflect the genotype the environmental his influences as well as the developmental history and thus are ultimately reflected in the phenotype of the cell and not only the cell but the whole organism during normal development or diseased conditions there are major epigenetic reprogramming in some cells leading to the removal of the earlier marks in the nucleus which is subsequently followed by the establishment of new set of marks when we'll talk about the application of epigenetic and its approach on evolution then we'll say that uh, when the epigenetic modifications are heritable then the epigenetic inheritance is possible and thus we can say that epigenetics can have an impact on evolution also 
the rates of epimutation which is a heritable change in the gene activity which is not because of DNA mutation but due to DNA modification can be much faster than the rates of mutation. Epigenetic inheritance is more common in plants and microbes than in animals. Epigenetic pathways are closely connected to cancer DNA methylation. The best studied methylation alterations also called as methylomes have been investigated in CPG islands. The CPG island methylation plays an important role in the regulation of transcription and thus any alteration signifies the presence of malignancy. Studies have shown that 5% to 10% of normally unmethylated CPG promoter islands become abnormally methylated in various cancer cells. The hypermethylation affects the expression of protein coding genes by regulating transcription. Although the detailed studies regarding the methylation alterations are yet to be fully deciphered. Only one allele is functional in an imprinted gene in both male and female offspring. This is because of the establishment of epigenetic marks in the imprinted gene in the parental gametes only. So, the parental environment in which the imprinted gene resided plays a crucial role in deciding the allelic expression of the imprinted gene in the present generation. The imprinted loci may become the targets of environmentally induced epigenetic abnormalities which subsequently cause disease. Moreover, vast evidence from the animal studies indicate that the prenatal as well as early postnatal environmental factors like nutrition, stress, behavior, xenobiotic chemicals, radiations and other reproductive factors result in altered epigenetic programming and subsequent health as well as the diseases aspect in the individual. So, students, let us summarize what we have learnt in this module. All nucleated cells contain the same genome but very different epigenomes. Conrad Weddington has coined this term epigenetics which constitutes heritable changes in gene expression not attributable to the nucleotide sequence variation. Transcription is the most important and substantial process of epigenetic regulation. Several types of mechanisms are involved in the epigenetic changes as well as their inheritance. At a molecular level, CPG islands, DNA methyl transferases, demethylases, methyl CPG binding proteins, histone modifying enzymes, chromatin remodeling factors, transcriptional factors, and the chromosomal proteins cooperate together. RNA transcripts and their encoded proteins as well as the MI RNAs or the micro RNAs also have their role in the mechanisms involved in the epigenetic changes and their inheritance. The epigenetics and epigenetic approach have a number of applications in various fields of science like which we have studied like the developmental biology evolution, health and environment in order to understand them better and adopt measures for a better life. Thank you.